Noctua has recently launched new Chrome X lineup of their best CPU coolers, and today I got the NHU 12S Chrome X model for a review. It comes in a fairly nice package with kinda premium feel to it. There are mounting instructions for all supported CPU sockets and mountings for both AMD and Intel platforms. You also get another set of vibration pads if you want to add an extra fan for the push-pull configuration for even better performance. They are thicker than the regular vibration pads for better performance of the second fan and also for better acoustics. Mounting wires for the second fan are also present in the package and it is awesome that they have included the NTH1 thermal paste with the cooler. It is one of the better performing thermal compounds on the market. It also comes with the ultra low noise adapter for the fan, it is intended to reduce the speed of the fan thus the noise, but in my opinion this is not needed as the fan itself is extremely quiet even on high RPMs. You also get this little thingy and this is the Noctua logo case badge. These plastic spacers are used to mount the specific mount of the patented SecuFirm 2, which holds the cooler firmly in the place. It is also nice that you get included tools, so there is no need to use any screwdrivers. And now the star of the show, the cooler itself. It is an all black version of the popular cooler. Every part of it is in the pure, awesome black color. It weighs 755 grams with the fan, and bear in mind that the height of the cooler is 158 mm. This has to be taken in consideration when buying a PC case, so it has the proper support for this fan, preferably even better clearance. It has 5 copper heat pipes spreading on both sides with nickel plated base, which is machine polished, and you can see the marks of the process. The enthusiasts among you might polish this to a mirror finish for somewhat better performance. As you can see the fins are stacked pretty dense but there is just enough clearance for the NFF12 Chromex fan to take the heat away. The assembly of the fan to the heatsink is easy as just pulling the wire tab on the side and attaching it to the notch on the fins. The cooler comes with the NFF12 focused flow fan which rotates up to 1500 RPMs and up to 1200 RPMs if using the supplied load noise adapter. It has PWM support for convenient automatic speed control through the motherboard. Since I am using all Noctua fans in the system with the red color accents, I am replacing stock black vibration pads with the red ones. If you are using AMD CPU then you need to use the grey spacers for the mounting kit and the white ones if you are using Intel CPU. And also for the AMD CPU you don't need the backplate as your motherboard already has one, you need it just for the Intel one. Apply small amount of thermal paste to the CPU, something between rice and pea grain size. 
Secure the heatsink to the mounting kit using two screws on each side and remember to take equal number of turns. Don't worry about over tightening it because they come with a spring and you will feel when it's time to stop turning. Attach the fan to the heatsink using the wire mechanism previously mentioned and connect the fan to the CPU header on the motherboard. And that's it, you're ready to go. Time to see how this cooler performs in games, rendering and various synthetic tests. And I would also like to show you how it holds against the popular AIO liquid cooler, the NZXT Kraken X62. Running ADA64 for some time, it never gets beyond 72 degrees Celsius and on the other hand Kraken goes up to 75 degrees. Bear in mind that AIO costs twice as much. Since Ryzen 3000 CPUs has fairly high idle temperatures, mine hovers between 38 and 44 using the Noctua cooler and 45 to 50 using the Kraken cooler. During the render tests it varies a lot depending on the load, but it almost always is in the mid-60s neck to neck with Kraken X62. While gaming it stays in the high 50s or the low 60s, spiking up in some scenes, but again this depends on the load and the complexity of the scene, but it's fair to say that both Noctua and Kraken are the same in this category. It's worth mentioning that if using the Noctua CPU cooler, my VRM and overall temperatures in the case are lower by some 8 to 10 degrees. When using Kraken X62, the VRM temperatures are getting hotter because the air coming into the case is hotter because the radiator is mounted in the front also. Noctua also makes these awesome heatsink covers for the most of the CPU cooler lineup and you can easily change color on the front and thus match the theme of your system. Mounting is easy and all you need to do is put on the plastic shroud on top of the heatsink, secure it with included pin which goes on top of the shroud and between the second fin. It goes on the both sides, so don't worry about that and after that all what's left is to pick the color of your choice for the front, peel off the protection film and just put the cover on it and it will snap into place because it is held by two magnets on each side. So overall this CPU cooler is extremely capable considering its size and it is a fair adversary to more expensive AI coolers as it performs on par with them and in some cases even better. Remember that you get all of this performance for just half of the price of a popular AIO cooler. Big thanks to Noctua for sending this cooler for a review. If you want nothing but the best cooling performance and you value silence of your PC then Noctua with its 6 year warranty time is the best choice for you. Thanks guys for watching and see you in the next one.